I'm doing outdoor cooking. All right, let's go down and cook my food. All right, well, the first important thing to cooking is hand sanitizer. Obviously, in the woods, you have no water, so you have to use hand sanitizer. Just squirt a little bit on, and then rub it in. This can prevent you from getting sick and getting other people sick. Very important. We actually lost Clint on our last trip because he was sick and it may have been because someone didn't use hand sanitizer, so it's important. And next I'm going to put the pump into the fuel bottle. So just unscrew the top of the fuel bottle. And you just kind of got to stick this in like so. Screw it on. And once it's on tight enough, your fuel bottle is ready and your hands are sanitized. All right, well, the next thing you've got to do is prime the fuel bottle. This is pretty important. Um, I'm not going to do it as much because I've already done it a lot of times on outtakes. You don't want to do it too much, but I'd say do it about 20 times or so. So after about 20 or so pumps, um, just take and you just got to kind of place this on like this. Make sure it's in there nice and tight. I'm going to flip that up. Um, so obviously that's an important part. And yeah, so then you're set up. Okay. Um, next thing I'm going to talk about before I start boiling my water is the food that I'm going to be cooking. Um, it's their Mountain House meals. They're freeze dried and they're real easy. All you do is boil up two cups of water, uh, put it in, mix it up, and it's good. Um, it cooks itself. It's it's really easy to cook, so you know I'd, I'd recommend using these, but there's lots of other options, obviously. Um, let's see here. Oh, uh, it's really important to put your food in like bear canisters, so no creatures, bears, animals, anything. You really don't want anything stealing your food, so if you put it in a bear canister, that's that's the best option. So um, I'm about to just take my food. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is light the stove. Uh, first what you want to do is turn this this right here. Okay. And you want to do that until the cup, there's a little cup underneath the stove. Once you see that get wet with fuel, then just turn it, turn the gas off. Then you want to take a lighter, I'd recommend a long lighter because you could get burnt with the shorter one. And, uh... <laughs> you don't want the fuel bottle on fire! Fuck. Shit. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was just a... <laughs> That was just, that's not what you don't want to do, okay? I had a little bit of fuel there, you don't want that. <laughs> okay, so, what you do, <laughs> once this is almost out, okay? You see, once the flame's almost out, you're gonna wanna, you're gonna want to uh, turn, turn it, and um, <laughs> you want a blue flame. <laughs> <laughs> so once it's almost out, turn it, and there we go. If you notice, come on up, zoom, zoom out and come on in. If you notice, this is a blue flame that you want, okay, it's the most efficient. Um, it, 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 it cooks water the best, <laughs> so that's really what you want, you don't really want what I just did there. Maybe this isn't a good table to do it on. Earlier, I had a little gas fill there, so that's not a good idea, so don't do that. This should be an outtake, but it's okay. So if you see the fire's nice and blue burning, um, what, what you would do is just take boiling water, put it on here, and um, earlier you saw that I made this. Um, you just put this around the outside of the fire and put the pot there, and this would kind of 
this would just kind of stop the wind from blowing the fire out so that's pretty important um so yeah pretty much the basics of uh starting the oven is turn this get fuel into the fuel can uh once you see it gets wet take the lighter light it the flame will come up not as high as it did before i had too much fuel in there so not that high but have the flame come up and once the flame kind of dies down till it's almost almost out you want to turn this and hopefully you'll get a perfectly blue flame um mine's not perfectly blue it's i mean it's got some orange in there so you definitely can do better than that but for the most part you want a blue flame if you want to be the most efficient so yeah once you do that put your water on there and then you can use boiling water for pretty much anything and then when you're just and when you're done all you got to do Turn off the gas. Once you turn it off, this will go out and you'll be set. So, pretty much that's it for lighting a stove. There's lots of different foods you can have. You gotta always have enough food because that can be a problem, obviously, being in the woods. Um, just know how to light a stove and you'll have a heat source and a, you know, a source for making food. Um, and if you do it the efficient way, you can go, you can, uh, one fuel bottle can actually last a real long time. So as long as you do it right, it's good. And, um, safety, don't put too much oil or too much fuel into the stove because <laughs> we kind of saw what happened on that one. So, we're good here.